been a week since my last entry, and we've decided to stay around here for the time being. I don't understand how Ela isn't hit with the amount of sickness that I was. She takes everything that comes in such stride. She's so special, even her body does as she commands, I guess. I've stared every face in this town down, but I haven't seen him again. From what I've gathered, it was an Englishman on the run. He had upset a local. In what way? Well, that part of the story changes constantly, person to person. Everything else lines up with Henry, though. And if anyone would, <laughs> I mean, he wouldn't. <laughs> but he looked different. Beat up. Run down. What did he endure all this time away? It's no wonder none of my letters ever found their way to him. I've attempted to write George again. I know if Henry is going anywhere, it'd be back to him. I don't know if anything is going through, though. But if anything, he has many to read when he does return. <laughs> Ela seems certain her baby is a boy, and she's hoping for it. She kind of scares me when she talks about how much she wishes it not to be a girl. To bring another girl into this world to be used by a man. She says she'd rather save it from the world. If it were a boy, it has all the world to conquer. But if it were a girl, it has nothing but to be conquered. And she won't let that happen. I try to keep things positive, though. I uh, try to convince her otherwise that no matter what the baby is, it will be magnificent. I remind her of how much she's conquered and how much we've done that we can still do. But she won't hear it. She's convinced every woman is cursed to only endure a painful existence, only endure suffering. It's what we're built for, she says. But should she have a daughter, she won't suffer at the hands of anyone, not even her own body. I let her think what she wants. If it's a boy, we are fine. Things can continue as is. No use in stressing until needed. But still, I should send out some letters. <laughs>